Hey guys, welcome to Daddy's Life. If you're new here, please subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be updated on every video that I post. So, I have a rat in my basement <clears throat> and I'm trying to get him caught. We leave for Colorado in two days and I'm having fun with this thing. Um, I've got different traps set down there. I think I could catch him pretty easily and pretty quick if I wanted to. But I'm having fun trying to catch him in this homemade trap that I made. Also, um, I've got my trail camera set just, just in front of it, trying to catch him on video getting caught. And I'm also trying to catch him in my leg trap. And I put some peanut butter on the pan of it to try to uh, get him up there on it, licking around and uh, get caught in it. But he's just licking all my traps clean. But... I tried something different and you'll see that here in this uh, clip I'm going to show you here in just a second in my basement you can see him in the camera that I've got set up there going up the steps right up to the basement door I do not want this thing in my house at all so I need to get him caught before we go to Colorado <clears throat> so if I don't get him caught tonight I'm bringing out the big guns I will have him caught tomorrow night you watch and see and we're going to do a catch and cook of this rat. It's going to be weird, I know. So watch this footage of how I get the trap set and uh, see what you think. But first, check this video out of this rat stealing my bait. There's this rat I've been trying to catch. He gets right up on that one and a half inch foot trap. I had hair triggered trying to catch him. I got a big old glob of peanut butter on the pan that still didn't catch him. Fun with this. Now my wife wants me to just catch him and be done with it, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. So let me show you what I got down here. I've got a one and a half inch, actually maybe a one inch, um, foothold trap. I have a regular Victor um, snapper trap, I guess what I call it. And then this plastic mouse trap right here in this hole here. Let me grab it. I don't know why it's over there. So this was set. This was set last night. And my uncle actually heard it upstairs go off. So he had to stick his head. I'll show you. Let me show you how this how this works. So, if I can, just here. Here's how this thing works. You pull this. You pull this thing up. First, what you do is you put your um, here. First, you put your bait in this hole right here, and I've got peanut butter in there. And you shut that. And all you do, all you gotta do is pull this up and it's set. Now, let me find something. I'm not even gonna do that. Once the mouse or rat lifts this flap up, tries to get in there to get that peanut butter, when he lifts this little flap up, it sets this off. I'll show you. It does this. Wham. Now, last night he did try getting that peanut butter and it had to have smacked him in the head or the snout, something. But he has came back since then because let me show you what I've got down here again. So I had this um had this foot trap set right here on the step where that trap's at now. And I had this bottle behind it barricaded because he's been coming back and forth from this hole in the wall to this hole in the wall. So I figured I'll just barricade this right here and I'll put that mouse trap, or not the mouse trap, that foothold trap right there. So when he comes through here, he has to cross that foothold trap. Well, I come down here now and here's the foothold trap down there set off somehow I do not know there may be a foot in it or something who knows I haven't checked it out yet and then this trap here was over here in this hole no idea how 
So let me pick up this foothold trap and see if we have a rat foot or leg or something in it. <clears throat> okay, so there is no foot, no leg, no nothing in this trap. But that's okay because I am determined to catch this rat in that bucket down there using the rolling log method and I've seen that he's taking the peanut butter off of that log so but that's okay because I'm still going to um, I'm gonna s I'm gonna set that rolling log back up put more bait on it and try to catch him in that because I do have my trail camera I have a trail camera right there and I've got some pretty good some pretty cool footage of this rat going up and down these steps it's crazy but um, I am going to reset this rolling log mousetrap and try catching him in it again because I want to see it work but I'm also gonna set this foothold trap um, Instead of putting peanut butter on the pan like I did last time, he just licked it off. I'm going to put something above the foothold trap with peanut butter on it where he has to reach up to it. And then when he comes back down, he should step in that foothold trap and I'll catch him. I really want to catch him tonight because I've got two nights to catch him before we leave to go to Colorado. But I'd really like to catch him tonight because I don't. we're, we're going to leave at 5 o'clock in the morning Thursday. And I don't want to have to mess with him Thursday. Plus, I want to catch it on video, and I want to take, but I want to take my trail camera with me to Colorado so I can try to get some elk pictures with it. Um, so I, I want to catch him now. So I'm done playing around with the mouse. So let's get this all set up, and you can watch me uh, see what I'm doing. It's gonna be pretty cool. So, I got everything set down here. Let me show you what I did. It's kind of interesting how I've got it set up. So, I'm using this stick right down here. I've got it strung up here, and it's tied on to this stick here. I put peanut butter right down here on the tip of this stick. And it's probably eight inches or so above that foot trap. Now I'm hoping when he reaches up and tries to grab a hold of that peanut butter, at some point, whether he has to get directly underneath it to reach up and get that peanut butter, he's going to have to set right there on that pan. And I believe that's probably what's going to catch him. But if not, I've got this rolling log mouse trap here that I built in my video before this one. Except this time, see, he's been eating the peanut butter right off the middle of that log. So instead of having the peanut butter here, I moved it to this side. So he actually has to walk all the way across this log to get to that peanut butter. And it's kind of lopsided, so I have it kind of on the upside, so it's easier to roll over. So I think I'll catch him this time. And I've got the trail camera set right there. And when I catch him on video, I am going to post it, and you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, what'd you guys think of that? I don't know. It's kind of weird, but we'll see. I bet I, I think I'll have him caught tonight. We're kind of playing cat and mouse with him, um, cause he keeps setting off my traps. That foot trap was set off today. Um, a plastic trap that he they stick their head into. That was set off. My The snapper trap was set off. They've all been set off, and he's ate my peanut butter off of that rolling log mouse trap. So, I moved it, you know. You've seen where I moved it. So he's got to go all the way across that log to get to the peanut butter. So, funny story. Kristen, a.k.a. Mommy's Life, she was sitting in the living room last night playing with Bubba on the Xbox, and we have a little dirt bike, toy dirt bike, and there's a tire on it, about that big around. So she's sitting in the living room, and she knows we've got this rat down there. 
And so I take this this black tire and I just roll it across the living room like that. And it goes right in front of her and oh my gosh, you, you had to bend there. She jumped plumb up. Oh, she got her heart racing. She let out a big old yell. I could not stop laughing. She was kind of mad at first, but then, <laughs> then she started laughing. But it's funny. But also, I know you guys will think it's funny too because there's a lot of supporters out there that not only support me, but you support my wife. And her channel is different than mine, but she's having fun with it. Now, with that being said, I thank all of you for supporting us. And there's, you know, every follower or every, every YouTuber has their main followers that really follow every video and comment on every one of them. And they leave great comments. And you guys are so uplifting. And I'm going to share a few followers that I have that I really like. Um, if I don't mention you, it's not the end of the world. Um, you probably know who you are. You comment on, on both of our videos all the time. And you're great friends with us. Um, first person I'm going to name off um, is Taylor. Uh, Pure Living for Outdoors. Really good friend. Met him on YouTube. We've already met in real life. Great family. Um, we text all the time. We talk about uh, deer, deer, and did I mention did I mention deer? We talk about deer too. Um, also, keeping it Dutch. Dutch is awesome. You guys got to go check out Dutch. He's an awesome dude. Um, Kelly and Doug Paulson. They have their own channels. They do mainly live streams every night. Great great people. Upstate New York is where they're at. Um, please go check them out. Those guys right there, they really care. Um, Iron Dog. He's also a really good supporter. He puts us in his uh, oh, what do you call him? Playlist. And he plays our videos. He may not even be watching them, but he plays them. He's helping us out. Giving us watch time. Um, I've got more I really, I really like the Arms Family. You guys know that. Arms Family Homestead. Great family there. Um, I want to do a little shout out for Cole and Jay. Go check their channel out. They do some wild stuff, man. Wild stuff. Um, they catch snakes and snakes and more snakes and more snakes and fish. They just got a video of this water moccasin. I think it was. Eating this whole like three or four pound catfish crazy cut it on video you gotta pay to watch stuff like that I mean I can't go out in a year even looking for that kind of stuff and get that kind of footage no way but Cole and Jay are awesome uh, young couple just like me and mommy's life if you guys like me and mommy's life you're gonna love Cole and Jay they do some awesome stuff so please go check out those four or five people that I just mentioned. Tell them who sent you. Please go check them out. That'll help me out. They'll know who sent you. Um, they'll leave me a comment back. Something like that. But other than that, guys, that's about all I've got for you today. Uh, I'm going to get this rat caught. So stay tuned. And when I do get him caught, I'm going to put him on there for you guys to see what I caught him in and how I caught him. And you'll see the exact moment that he gets caught. So, stay tuned. Tap the bell. Get that bell tapped. Tap a tap -a And we'll see you on the next video.